People think we eat salads. Yeah. Does this look like a salad to you? Things have changed and vegan food's gone fire. Let's get cooking, baby. second season of Evolving Vegan, where our next guest explores exciting destinations and their diverse approaches to plant-based cuisine. And here to tell us more about the show and his mission to make vegan food delicious and accessible is actor and host of Evolving Vegan, Mina Masood! Yeah. Nice to be here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Oh, so excited to have you back. Thank you so much. Uh, season two of Evolving Vegan. So listen, you went all over North America and you were trying all the local vegan fare that all of these places had to offer. So give us a sneak peek about what you're most excited about season two. I'm excited about all the different cities we went to. Of course, it's season two. So anytime you have a season two, you get to kind of double down on what you know works well, improve some things. So I think this is an even better season than season one. And then we finished it off with a bang in Tokyo, Japan. Wow. So uh, going over there was was a blessing. I'm so lucky to be doing what I'm doing. It's uh, it's amazing. It's awesome. And you make a stop that I'm really quite surprised because when I think of the city, I'm talking about Philadelphia. The first mm. thing I think of when I think about their food scene is the Philadelphia steak Cheese steak. Steak. Cheese steak. Yeah, thing. yeah, right? yeah. But you say it's a great spot for vegan food. Yeah, listen, I mean... I, part of this show is I want to prove to everyone that no matter where you can go now, you can find amazing plant-based food. <sighs> and Philly's a city of brotherly love, yeah. Philly cheesesteak. So, you know, we, we feature a vegan cheesesteak on there. But we went to one restaurant in particular um, that was voted best new top 20 restaurants in North America. Not just vegan, but it was a vegan restaurant. Oh. And then, you know, I'm, I'm making donuts with Maz Jobrani on there, uh, wow. comedian, and I've got some amazing guests on this year as well. That's so great. That's awesome. You mentioned Tokyo before, that's certainly on my bucket list. So why is it great for evolving vegans? Well, you know, Japan was a vegetarian country back 50, 100 years ago. It only became a heavy meat consuming country recently. And so there's some rich, rich history there of vegetarian vegan culture. And so we go back there and we have some incredible sushi, ramen, you know, we, we do it all. And the other thing that's amazing about Japan is most people there that are doing any job have been doing it their whole lives. They don't, they don't switch switch jobs and switch careers like we do in the West, mm -hmm. they stick to one thing. And so even though that sushi chef that you saw there looks like he was very young, he'd been doing that for 15 years already. Wow. Yeah. 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 What we love about your show is that you always bring along a friend yes. to come and join you as well. So um, any sneak peeks as to who comes along and did you evolve them successfully into <laughs> the well, vegan lifestyle? Yeah, well in tonight's episode I mentioned Maz Jobrani, he's a comedian. He was doing a show in Philly so I was like, Maz, come on the show. Let me, you know, help you try these vegan donuts. And we made vegan donuts together. And he couldn't tell the difference. We, we had a tasting after. He couldn't really tell the difference. We got Penn Jillette on, um, you nice. know, if you know hey, Penn yeah, Jillette. Yeah, of course. And Penn... Penn lost over 100 pounds going vegan. He's six foot seven. He was over 300 pounds. He went vegan, lost about 100 pounds. So mm. you got amazing guests on with amazing stories. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, did you happen to bring any of those donuts you were just mentioning? I, I didn't. I did. Everybody's <laughs> shaving me about not Look, bringing food. I got to bring food next time. I was like, time. I'm just I looking for someone food. with a tray and a cookout <laughs> from the back or something. Um, but on, in all seriousness, is one thing that uh, plant based diets get criticized because they're very expensive. Right. And right now everybody's feeling the pinch in the grocery store. So do you have any tips yep. for saving money or, you know, being a vegan on a budget? You know, I do. I have one big tip and you can utilize it even if you're not vegan. I think it's where the world is headed. That's what Evolving Vegan is all about. I think the world is headed to a whole food diet. Mm -hmm. You want to look at whole foods. You want to stay away from the aisles, from the yeah. processed foods True. where it's expensive and you're not getting a much bang for your buck. You're mm -hmm. not getting a lot of vitamins and minerals. And um, speaking of Japan, it's, you know, they have one of the blue zones in the world. Mm. And one thing that these blue zones practice where people are living to be over 100 years old is a whole food diet. You know, mostly vegan, but a whole food diet. And I think that's really important, help you save money and help you be healthier as well. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So there are a lot of amazing vegan swaps 
for uh, well-known comfort foods. And so during your travels, uh, you explored a lot of these. And I understand you're going to put us to the test right now. I am. I am going to put you to the test. It's a fun little game, okay. you know, because we got to have a little bit of fun. So I'm going to I'm gonna name a dish that's okay. usually not vegan. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you where you think I got the vegan version of it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. All right. Sounds hard. No, okay. no, it's good. It's 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 fun. Okay. So uh, first one, you guys ready? You guys yeah. can participate too, oh, right? No, it's it's not. Not. Yeah. Oh, okay. You need nice. to tell me it's A or B. So I wanted to try the vegan version of a traditional Puerto Rican dish, mofongo, which is usually like a mashed plantain with fried chicken and mm. beans and rice. Got so, it. which city did I find it in? Was it? Oy. A, Miami, or B, New Orleans? I mean... It's got to be... I just it's got to be like, Miami. Was it What's A? the answer? Yeah, you all got yeah. it right. Yeah. Hey, Miami, yeah. Right, Miami, Latin culture. It's right. a direct right. flight, like yeah. every hour. What yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, a plant-based beef Wellington. Was it A, New Orleans, or B, Las Vegas? Oh, wow. Las Vegas. Uh, I'm going Las Vegas, uh, baby. You guys are go. cheating. What is this? <laughs> Who gave you the answers? Yeah, it's B, Las Vegas. Hey. That's right. And of course, Gordon Ramsay made the Beef Wellington famous, and he's got like 10 restaurants in Vegas, so yeah. Vegas there was the right go. answer. Okay. All right, a vegan beignet, either A, Montreal, or Ooh, B, New Orleans. That's tricky. That's a trick both question. Both French Ooh, it's culture a trick cities. Both? I don't yeah, know. Is it both places? I'm this is pretty the, uh, split. This is pretty split. It's New Orleans. New Orleans Yay! is known. Be in New Orleans, Yay. known we, for the beignets. Uh, that is all we have time for, Mina. We are doing really well, though. I feel like yeah, we're going. I know you're going. killing it. We did a great <laughs> job, Mina. This has been so fun and great to have you back. Thank you. Thank so you much so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We want to let you know. Evolving Vegan Season 2 airs today. That's 8 p.m. on CTV Life Channel and also streams over on Crave. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.